All right, let's continue now. An online word game. <laughs> Hello, Wordle. An online word game involves trying to guess a five-letter word based in a few attempts as possible. Okay, a play on Wordle, I guess. For this game, each player is given a score S, where S is based on how many attempts it takes to guess the word. In Ireland, player scores are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 3.87 and a standard deviation of 0.36. A player is selected at random from the players in Ireland. Find the probability that the players score of less than 3.5. Okie dokie. So, uh, this is A. Alright, so, here's our bell curve centered at 3.87 with a standard deviation of 0 0.36 and we are looking for 3.5 guesses or less so let's calculate the z score that's 3.5 minus 3.87 over 0 0.36 which is a negative number of course 3.5 minus 3.87 divided by 0 0.36 minus 1.0278. We round it off. Um, but you would like to look up the area of minus 1.0278, which you can't do in the form of the book. You can only look up positive numbers. So um, there's a trick here that this number here will be the same as this positive area here. And the formula book gives you the area to the left of it. So you can just basically go to the formula book and look up one minus the table book value of 1.0278. So let me pause this while I get a formula book open. Okay, we've got our formula book. So then we go. Where are you? Here we are. Uh, normal. So, which value are we looking for again? 1.0278. 1.027. So, I should say 1.03, really. 1.03. 0. 0.8485. Zero point fifteen fifteen. Okay, B. A random sample of sixty four Galway players has a mean score of three point seven four. Based on this, a local newspaper claims that Galway players have a different mean scores to players in Ireland. Use this information about the sample to construct a ninety five confidence interval. Okay, so the the confidence interval is going to be this mean. 3.74 plus or minus 1.96 times the standard deviation 0.36 over root n which is 64. So at the upper end that's 3.8282 and then at the lower end That's 3.6518. Okay. Use this. Uh, construct a 95% confidence interval. Have done. Carry out a hypothesis test at 5% level of significance. Test news by claims that Galway players have a different mean score. State your null. Okay. Null hypothesis. The Galway mean equals the national mean, or I guess you could say the original 0 0.36. And then the alternative would be that it's not. And then the conclusion, um, we say do not, uh, 3.6 is not in this. So actually, yeah, do reject 
h0 since 0 0.36 is not in the confidence interval um so therefore oh that's it do not reject conclusion do not reject because it's not in the confidence interval okay um a national newspaper conducted a survey on a random sample of anti teenagers in Ireland. 35% of the sample said they play the online word game every day. Based on this, a 95% confidence interval for the percentage P of all teenagers in Ireland who played the game was calculated. The accuracy was that. Okay, so 26, uh, this is C now, 26.5% less than or equal to P, less than or equal to 43.5%. Work out the N. So I'm going to subtract those as decimals 0 0.435 minus 0 0.265 and divide it by 2. So and then divide it by 1.96. So that gives me the standard error is, whoops, the standard error is 0 0.043367 etc so just to be clear it was this number minus this number divided by 2 and divided by 1.96 and if you go to your formula book you can see these formulas here let me show you where since i have it open where's the p one to show you uh, there there it is there standard error of the proportion so what we've just worked out now is root um 0 0.35 that was the p wasn't it yeah 0 0.35 and then 0 0.65 over n equals that number there so that's pretty straightforward to solve for n you just square it and reciprocal and so on so I'll square that and then uh, so that's ooh 120.96 should I round up or should I round down any mention here I'm gonna go with up Hopefully that was the right decision. You can test it out. 0 0.35 times 0 0.65 over 121, the root of that, times 1.96, added on to 0 0.35, gives you 0 0.43498. So, and if you do the other one, 0 0.35 minus 1.96 times the root, of 0 0.35 times 0 0.65 over 121 you um yeah you get 265 so i think i'm okay ah uh, for uh, okay fine stop jumping All right. A player wins the game if they guess the word with six guesses or less. The organizers of the game record the number of statistics for players in the following statistics for players in Europe. 80% of players win the game each day. 90% of players who win the game will win play it again in the following day. 25% of players who do not win the game will play it again the following day. Okay. Okay, okay. Complete the tree diagram. So uh my mouse is jumping about a lot, sorry. So 
So I assume proportions were the previous ones, right? So like this will be 0 0.2 and then 360,000. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. That will be 288000. That's 72000. And then 28800. Oh, times 0 0.9. That's 259200. 0 0.25 times 72000. That's 18000. That's 0 0.8. Times 0 0.2, that's 3600. 18000 times 0 0.8, that's 14400. I'll have to read the information now um, to get the, the missing boxes. So Ninety percent of players who win the game will play it again the following day. Twenty-five percent of players who do not win the game will play it again the following day. So ninety percent of players who win the game play it the following day. Ninety percent of players who win the game play it the following day. Twenty-five percent of players who do not win the game play it the following day. So that's twenty-five percent. And that's 25%, I hope. Okay. Um, this should be 0.8 and 0.2 as well, isn't it? Because 80% of players win the game each day. Yeah, so like it doesn't affect, it's not affected if, you, if you're on a winning streak or anything. 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, okay. 2, 5, Nine two o o times point eight. That's two o seven three six o, and then let's multiply it by point two to make sure we're right. Yep. Okay. Two o seven three six o times point nine. That's one eight six six two four five one eight four o times zero point two five. That's one two nine six zero, oh. one four four zero oh, zero oh, times point nine. That's one two nine six zero, oh. and then three six zero oh, oh, times zero point two five. That's nine hundred. Complete the tree diagram by writing proportions. One person is picked at random from those who played the game on all three days. Find the probability that this person lost on the 1st of June or 2nd of June. One person is picked at random from those who played the game on all three days. Who are those? So let's have a look here. If you're here, you play and win. And um, Then there's a 0.9 chance that you go on to play again. And 0.8 to win, and 0.9 to go on again. So I want somebody who played the game on all three days. So that has to be one of these people here, right? On the 1st of June, 360,000 people played. But gotta be careful here. It's the last question. Don't wanna mess it up now. They that many people played on the first day, that many played on the second day, and that many played on the third day. So let's just add up the third day players. One eight six six two four plus one two nine six zero oh, plus one two nine six zero oh, plus nine hundred. I'm sure that was supposed to be an O oh and not a six. I hope I can double check it.
Yeah, that is a no. Okay. So that's how many people played on the three days. And we're looking for find the probability that this person lost on the 1st of June or 2nd of June or both. So, um, interesting. Very interesting. So, that they lost on the 1st of June or the 2nd of June or both, that should be 1 minus the probability that they, they won on the 1st and the 2nd. So, a win and a win means that they got here by this path. So that's one minus one eight six six two four over two one three four 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 eek. That's twelve zero point one. Two. What do you want me to do about rounding, or just leave it as a decimal? Uh, as a fraction, I mean. Um, hmm, bit of a tough one. So you want the the other way to do it is they lost on the first day. So that's yeah, yeah. It's it's these three here. So yeah, I don't know honestly. Hopefully that's right. I'm just not sure. Let's move on.